Walmart in Northern Michigan today, checking out the prices and how the shelves are looking. Right there is all we have for the four pounds of the Great Value Sugar, and that right there is all we have for the ten pounds at seven twenty-eight now. There is a few bags of the uh, is that twenty-five pound bags of sugar down there for twenty-four, and some Domino's for eight seventy-seven for ten pounds, and four fifty-four. For the four pounds. Now this is new down here, Pioneer for six sixty-seven. And it looks like three forty-four for the four pound bags. Pioneer six sixty-seven for the ten pound. We do have some empty shells on the flour two thirty-four for the GB brand of five pounds of flour four thirty-four for ten pounds nine twenty-four. You can get twenty-five pounds of flour. And uh, we have a few gaps here and there. Uh, 417 on the gold medal. And Pioneer. Huh, they have Pioneer sugar over here <laughs> with the flour. So that's what we have on our flour. Make sure you stock up on all the stuff that you may need to get you by over the winter. Olive oils are 357 for the light. And same for the classic. 688 for those down there. And these brands are quite a bit higher here. But uh, we do have a few gaps up there on the olive oil. Let's go down here and check out the canola oil. 923 for a gallon of canola oil. A little empty there. And 384 for vegetable oil. And I don't know how much the gallon of vegetable oil is because there's no price today. <laughs> but we do have a price on the shortening, 518 for JV brand, 878 for Crisco. Figured I'd come over here to the uh, broth that I made, $1.98 a box. These are $1.37 for the Great Value brand. And the Swanson's 252 but those are great to put in your pantry as long as those are right there. What do we got here? Broth-based beef. That one, a little different. I've never seen that one before. Normally I get that one back there. Maybe they're the same thing and just redone their packaging. Oh. But that's good stuff. And uh, they have these, $2.12. This one for $1.83. $5.98 for Better Than Bullion. Good stuff, but pricey. And uh, Weiler's two thirty two, and then they have down here the Nor for dollar forty seven, which uh, that works as well. Mueller's looking a little empty on their pasta. Let's go over here and see what Mueller's is looking like. Over here, Barilla, some empty spots on the Barilla, and the Great Value spaghetti is a little low, but quite a bit cheaper too as well. So oh, make sure you get your pasta put on your pantry guys. And quite a few empty shelves there on the hamburger helper so I don't know why but I am reporting to the empty shelves on the hamburger helper if that's something that you get. And they still have spam on sale for $2.98. Yet it's not under lock and key. How about that? Um, and plenty of the chicken, Keystone, corned beef, three fifty four for the great value, five sixty seven for Libby's, and diced ham there for a dollar fifty two. Those are all great. This one is new. I've never seen it before, but four sixteen for it. Uh, it better be pretty good. It's butter filled, so. But. Uh, Looking pretty good on the canned meats today, which is good because I like putting canned meat on my pantry shelf. And the rice is still looking pretty slim on the shelves there, guys. So if you haven't got rice yet and you eat rice, pick up some rice because it seems to be less and less of it on the shelves. GV brand, vegetables still 64 cents a can, great time to be stocking up on those canned vegetables because with the canned shortage guys the price is going to go up higher okay so get your canned foods now coffee you can see that there is a few empty spots on the coffee 8.98 on the Maxwell house 
the bigger one, 1048. And we have Great Value brand at 996 for the value size. And it looks like $9.97 for Folgers and $12.97 for the tall boy there, guys, of Folgers. And the cafe is looking a little empty there as well, so if you need coffee, guys, make sure you suck it up. And where's the peanut butter? Still pretty looking low on the peanut butter, guys. $5.98 for the 4 pound, $3.98 for the 2 pound. They do have some gif down there, $6.97. Yeah, that right there, completely empty. Cream cheese looking a little bare too there. That's empty and those down there is empty. They're right there. I mean, it's a Philly Philadelphia brand, but no, it's great value brand too. Uh, you can get it down here. $2.98 and $2.86. But there is empty. Butter is $3.68 per pound for the great value brand. Looking pretty good on the butter. $5.27 a pound up for Orlando Lakes. That's pretty pricey. And the 60 count eggs, $7.47. We have a few here. $7.47, so still not a bad price. And $1.54 a dozen for the Great Value brand. These ones here, I believe, are $2.58. You can definitely tell if it's made with wheat and oats. The price is going up. $5.68. For quick girls, $3.98 for a TV brand. Cat litter is still looking kind of shy today, too, so. Right. I'm going to turn around the other way here. So we got the one down this side and cat litter. And I'm going to use some laundry soap and dish soap, see how it's doing. So I'll just stroll along here with you. Toilet paper looking pretty good. Oh, garbage bags off. Those are pretty empty right on there. On the garbage bags. So make sure you suck up in garbage bags, guys. You don't want to be without them. Paper towels looking good as well. Look at the price off. <laughs> Very pricey paper towels. If you use fabric softener, that is completely gone. Maybe because they had a clearance on it on some of them, but I noticed the shelves were empty, so I pulled over. Also, empty shelves over here on the dry detergent, so if you use it, get it. And some of the laundry detergents also see empty shelves on the laundry detergent down there, the extra purex. So, I'm not sure why, but I'm reporting the empty shelves. So guys, I'm going to jet out of here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, toodaloo. God bless.